Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be doing some more of the same. Our priority has not changed. It is still sick. Our priority is still to get this dragon defender. It absolutely needs to happen and until we do there's no point doing anything else. Let's open this casket. It's not ranger boots. Okay, on to the birds. Yeah, I'm, I'm praying we get this dragon defender today. Like, overall, I can't be mad about the rates we've had so far. We haven't had bad luck by any means. We've been pretty much on rate. So, I'm not mad, but I really would like to get this dragon defender today now. I'll be very happy if we get it done today. If it takes us longer than today, then it is is starting to get a bit more than we'd like. If we get it on today, I'm very happy. Fingers crossed we can do some bits on the Cyclops and never have to see them again. Decent amount of nests there. I should move these so that it is actually what I use. That'll make my life easier. I'm just always stubborn about, oh, I'm really gonna do it right now in the middle when I'm trying to get my bank run done. But yes, we're doing it now. Need to get those runes up there. Almost got a farming level. May just get one today. And there it is. 52 farming coming in to start our day off. Anything we can do with 52 farming that we couldn't before? No, nothing unlocked there. Another 6 for 6. Another benefit of that farming level, the higher it goes, the less likely we are to get dead patches. And I think that might be the first time we've had more than 50, although just, only just, as you can see, we got 50 on Renar today. Make sure we top our energy up with this ring. It's the only time every day that we have it on, so always saves me a trip back to the Ferox Enclave to reset, as long as I remember. That's not an unreasonable price, I don't think. Yeah, it's under the asking price, so I'm gonna leave those. I don't care if they don't actually sell. Oh, I don't have my Rune Defender in here. Oh, they sold. <laughs> Good job I didn't lower them. I mean, I don't need my Rune Defender in here for long, hopefully, but... Okay, you know what? I think I'm actually just gonna go and stick some money in miscellanea. I think that is the play. We'll get an axe as well, because we may as well just actually top it up. And then, let's go. Yeah, I want to keep my coffers high. Like I said, the higher the coffers, the better the, the loot you get from it per day. So, now they're down to 1.7. I'll probably put like two and a half mil in just to keep ourselves a little bit of money in the pocket. You know, I always like to, to carry around some pocket change here on one hour limit locked. This is the blessed tree. Honestly, it goes so quick every time I use this tree. Way better than the cursed tree. Okay, I think I brought spare combat bracelets, so I don't think I need to worry about this running out. I don't know what the alk value is. Check the allocation. Let's put 2.5. Five. And we've got four mil in there now. Fuck it, let's check that. Cool. Back to the Warriors Guild. Oh, yeah, yeah, we actually profit from Alk in this, so I'm just gonna Alk it. Alright, time to gather some tokens. I think I'm just gonna go. Hmm, I'm not sure how many to get actually. Because we don't need any more than 
is necessary. Like, once we've got the Dragon Defender, Warriors kill tokens mean nothing to us. We'll never be taking that into the wild, so it's never going to be a risk. I might just send it at 200. At the end of the day, if I have to come just upstairs to get some more halfway through the trip, it's not that bad, right? I kind of just want to get in there. So who knows, yesterday we walked in and got the rune one in six kills. If that happens, we don't want to have 300 tokens just left gathering dust. Right, that's going to be it. I'm going to go in with this. 20 minutes we've got. Hopefully see you guys when I get a defender. I kind of want my next potion doses to align perfectly with the end of my tokens. So, I'm going to wait till I have 140 tokens to repot, which will be around plus 4, plus 5. And then I'll get the full boost out of my potions until my tokens run out. Oh, thank fuck. Thank fuck we are done. I was starting to lose hope, y'all. It wasn't even that bad in the end. 393 KC. We are done grinding defenders. We've upgraded by 5 attack and defense bonuses and an extra 1 melee strength to the best offhand that we will have for the entirety of our game. We're never gonna get an Avernic. I've never owned one on any account and I don't intend to start with one hour limit locked. Just alking this random shit. Can you alk a rune defender? I should probably keep it just in case, but. Okay, we got half an hour left on our day still. Very nice. I think I'm gonna get myself over to the Grand Exchange because we've got a fair bit of herbs to sell here. So let's just grab these and our mahogany as well that we will have got. Anything else that I see? I think we've got a fair bit of random shit there to get some money out of. 30 minutes left on the day. What is he going to do with his time? He already knows. But he doesn't know why he's speaking in third person. Just kind of stuck now. I... I, not he, I am a loser. He was a loser. I am a loser. Back up to 1.3 mil. Love to see it. And let's go ahead and get ourselves some Varrock teleports, a DDS, attack and strength pot, prayer pot. We're actually going to need proper prayer pots, that's the thing. We're gonna remove that tag because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna make sure this tag is in here. That might not be enough prayer to be honest. I might need more, but we'll see how we go on. I'll have to try and flick as much as I can. And right, a bit of food. 
We got stews, we got potatoes, and we got some nature runes. We are gonna go to Scurrius to get dueling ring as well, so we can just top up and reset. We're gonna go back to Scurrius, folks. It has been so long since we've been there. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been to Scurrius, all the way back in season one when we last saw our little friend. But we're going back. It is time to see the Rat King once again. Our DPS initially probably isn't going to be amazing. When we get this Bone Mace and we swap to our regular setup and we've also got, by that point, more money, which is just a nice bonus. I, I want to get this Berserker Necklace and Obby Helm off my account and this, to be fair. Because it's just money that is sat there. So the sooner we get this bone miss, the sooner we can do that. Okay, now I have to remember how to score us. Well, pretty melee helps. Two specs. I'll flick where you can. To be honest, that was an abysmal first kill. But we got a spine, so I'll take it. How about that? Oh my gosh, we are popping off, y'all. Today. It's a good day. We're gonna go to the GE. Yeah, yeah, look at all that prayer I lost. It was fuck it. It was an abysmal kill. An absolutely abysmal kill. Gonna accept the spine though. Right, all I know is I need a rune mace. Can't remember any of the requirements. Come on, give me that rune mace. Come on, give me that rune mace. There we go. Okay, use it. Anvil. Hammer. Farrock Telly. Use the spine. Let's go, we got the bone miss. Okay, then we're back to the GE. We can slap this back up. We can get this stuff back up as well. That's a bunch of money on a return. Even if we've lost a bit by owning them, it's still gonna be a lot of more money in the pocket. We're not complaining at all, we're happy about that. I'm gonna get an extra prayer box. I feel like we're going to need it. We are up to 2.5 mil now. Right, let's go see. Oh, I need my new helmet and my fury door. I might help. So yeah, we're not getting like a full day of, of testing of like how effective Scurrius is, but that will be the plan for the next melee training day, whether that's tomorrow or I decide to do something else first. Really depends on what time I'm logging in tomorrow, if agility seems viable or... But yeah, we got the bone mace now, so we can carry on getting some more attack XP. And then we can um, move on to strength. We should still just about be able to get this level, especially with the uh, improved XP we'll now be getting. We'll start with specs. I think I'm just going to send them all, because keeps me from flicking. <laughs> I think I'll have to not use chivalry during these phases, so otherwise I'm going to use way too much prayer, because I can't really flick it alongside these, and I'm going to have to keep my prayer on when I'm doing this. So we are going to use prayer no matter what I do here, which makes it less cost efficient than the Sulfur Nagua. We'd be able to figure out our cost for a day and our XP for a day after like one full day doing this, and then we can compare it. There goes the Berserk Necklace. So we'll have about 4 mil in the bank. We could have pretty much fully topped up our missile earlier. But hey ho. Second kill was a lot smoother than the first. As you can see by my health toll. Of course the button mace does help with DPS. Less time to make mistakes if it's not alive as long. And this button mace does go hard. I haven't seen the max hit yet. But I did just see a 34 that wasn't a max hit. A previous max hit with the... Uh, Obsidian cell was 32, so obviously the trade-off, you can only use bone weaponry against rats, but it's a trade we take. Not a terrible second kill. Two kills out of one Predos, I'll be happy with. I think that's reasonable enough that it's not going to be costing me a ton. Three rat spawns, this kill is so nice. Look at all the XP just flying in. Oh, four rat spawns in a single kill, that's actually crazy. I'm just going to stay on him so I can keep my DPS between the kill, but usually I would kill them first to try and get them to respawn, but after four I doubt that's going to happen. Might have a cheese. Another minute. We did use a fair bit of prayer there. 67 attack coming in hot. I'm going to switch straight on over to strength. We're doing that up again to 70, like I say. Very nice indeed. In fact, let's just repot to celebrate our new plus 15 attack boost. 
Beautiful stuff. Oh shit, I closed my timer by accident. Oh my gosh. Wait, did it carry on? I think it actually carried on. Woo! It must have just like minimized. Because we're on 51 minutes logged in. So I think it is pretty like damn near. It might be perfect even. I just clicked the little X by mistake when fucking trying to click a rat real quick. Wait, when did I eat the food? I don't remember that. Seven minutes. Well, nothing interesting has come up since that first kill, but can't really complain. We've had some solid little gains here towards the end of this day. I reckon we can just get one more kill in, probably. Ah, fuck it, I should leave. I was going to stay for another one, but I always end up fucking not having enough time, though. I should leave. I feel like I'm going to finish this too quick now. I'll have like one minute. What am I gonna do with one minute? I don't have any clues to do. Go back to miscellanea and fill it up, maybe? Be a quick trip. I want a quick hunt level. All the way up to 66. Just been passively gaining those levels. We can catch magpie implants. How exciting. Okay, yeah, so we had four mil in miscellanea. We can top it up fully. We may as well. We may as well. I'm just going to check off. Wait, I don't need combat bracelets anymore. We're done with that grind, baby. Holy shit. I was just going to check that I had I had combat bracelet spare to get back to the Warriors Guild. No need. Go up to look after your kingdom. Miscellanea is the money kingdom, and we've got to look after it. I'm just going to say 4M because it'll fill it up. And look at that. 7.5 mil. We've still got 1.1 mil in the pocket, plus planted Renar Seeds, plus another day of Renar Seeds. We're chilling right now. We are actually chilling. Apart from the fact that I just used the wrong teleport on my dueling ring. But we've got so much money. That's a shame we can't do the mysterious old man. Why didn't you come a minute earlier, bro? A minute earlier and we would have been okay. I was here like, oh, I've nothing to do with a minute. I could have done you then, bro. Ah. Oh. Yeah, we still got day Renards here, we've got a mill, so we can buy like a few more days, we've got nests. We've got a lot of our raid gear already with the Fury, the Brimstone. We've still got full Obsidian that we can sell for about 1.5 mil if we are using something else for our raid gear, which is more than likely. But these two, three, four, five are all what we are using. So that is very positive progress in that regard for the mage setup. I think we've already got the blood bark. In fact, I should probably just, so we can start to see it come together, sort myself out a raid tab. So, why don't I just do that now at the end of the session? I think that's acceptable, non-actual gameplay. It's more about showcasing what we're up to this is what we are looking like we need a melee top we've got switches in fact we need melee legs really as well so let's assume that melee is our starting setup because we don't actually have a melee weapon either so we need melee top legs we're gonna have a serpentine helm here and then everything else is done literally like we need a blowpipe as well we need the blowpipe the serp and then melee for the middle and that's and a weapon but the weapon is probably going to be the curious partisan from completing the quest so we don't have to worry about the weapon really either we've got a lot already here is my point and with the eight and a half mil that we currently have we could buy the serpentine helm and the toxic blowpipe right now the melee gear more up in the air I still haven't 100% decided what I want in these slots. I could quite easily just keep this on, but that makes my switches a bit awkward. I'd rather have the same items swapping in and out with every switch I'm doing. So if I'm swapping my body and my legs to get a blood bark, then I want to be swapping my uh, body and legs here too. We do need a trident still as well, but that's, uh, that's a small cost. And yeah, it's coming along is my point. You know, we could put this here and look slightly threatening at the moment. Yeah, the cash stack is just, is nice to have there in miscellanea. Not cash though, the other thing, XP, let's have a look at that. 
I only got a little bit of magic XP today. Standard hunter and farmer. Tiny little bits of other things sprinkled in. And then the bulk here is in our combat XP. We got 31k in attack XP before swapping back over to strength where we got almost 14,000 XP just at the end there. It's glorious. And at least 15k hit points XP. So slightly lower combat XP than yesterday, for example, when we spent a full day training. But there was a lot more downtime today between different things. You know, moving between Scurrius and the making the bone mace and going to miscellanea a couple times going to the ge you know there was a bunch of downtime that just creeped in here and there uh, going up and down stairs in the warriors guild so it makes sense that our dps and our xp rates did suffer slightly as a result i am excited to get a good read on the actual comparison i definitely want to do back to back a day at Scurrius and a day at Sulphur's and see what the rates look like but I may do something else first because we've been doing a lot of melee training recently and I feel like we could probably attempt going back to the armored zombies now that we have blood burst we're just one level away from ice burst still if blood burst lets us survive long enough to get ice burst then really we're uh, we're not really waiting for anything, we're good to go. So yeah, that's the plan. We've still got a bunch of agility to go, so that is on the to-do list as well. When it's a quiet time, and then I'm not getting PK'd by random people. I suppose I could always just go for the XP, like I say, if, if that turns out to be the case. But right now, money's looking good, XP is looking good, gear is looking good. We've got all our untradeable shit sorted. Completely. I should get the Avers in here now as well, actually. We don't have Mage Cape. Should I get Mage Cape? That's a good question. Should I get Mage Cape? Don't know if it's worth the slot. I'll have to think about that another time. Maybe you can influence me in the comments below. You'll have to let me know. Make sure you leave a like on the video as well. It helps a ton pushing me into the algorithm and just letting me know that you enjoy the work I'm creating so that I keep doing it. Other than that, Hit the subscribe button. You don't want to miss out. The series is plowing forward. We're in grind season, baby. We're almost caught up to season one in episode count, and we're definitely going to overtake it. I can't figure out how much longer we're going to be, but we're approaching the 70 mark on most of our combat stats now, and 75 is sort of the target. So we are getting closer and closer and closer every single day and the gear, it keeps coming together more and more too. I feel like I've been talking nonsense for the past 10 minutes, so I'm gonna stop. Look after yourself, be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.